Hello viewers and welcome to this new video. Today we are in Battle of Warships again and we are gonna sail in the Japanese battleship Yamato. This ship in particular is the one which I'm putting in the first place on all the others because I feel so confident and so satisfied when sailing in it because it is very powerful maybe it is not the easiest but when you learn how to sail in it it will be awesome also because it is very strong but without further ado let's see the details of this mighty battleship this ship has the third highest HP in the game, 247k HP, which can be upgraded to 277k with the flags. She has a good speed, but compared to all the other ships, this is very slow. But it doesn't matter because this ship is used in long range as the turning circle which is not very good but it doesn't matter in long-range engagements the interceptors are six which are also very good she gets one of the best aa defense in the game with lots and lots of aa guns but the main feature is the armament the most powerful one i know it's not right that it's not the, the very best armament, but I, I'm telling you this is the one it makes more damage in reality. For the personalization, I chose the usual American flag, which gives more damage and less reload time, the Oscar flag, Navy Darken Camouflage and German Imperial Navy sticker. As I said before, this battleship is very good and very powerful, but it works only if you use it good. So, without further ado, let's take these mighty battleships to battle. And here we are. This map is very good for the Yamato, because it allows you to hide when you have to hide but it allows you also to fire from long range, which is perfect for the Yamato. This battle in particular is very interesting, because we have not 7v7, but we have 5v6, and in the other team there were 3 strong battleships, and in my team, there were only me that I was a strong battleship. The second strongest were two Dunkirks, which were very good also, but not as strong as my Yamato, of course. I started by taking position at the middle, while resting in long range and pointing my guns at the Wisconsin, starting to fire at her but remaining sure that no others could fire at me. So I started to fire on her repeatedly from long range because this ship excels in this type of engagement and so I totally take advantage of it while resting in here and not being hit a single time by, by, by the Wisconsin. I stopped my engine to have a good angle on her and I continued to fire at her until my teammates picked the kill. So I started again with my engine and I started to fire at a Montana, at very long range again. She went to hide behind a mountain, but it was not a problem, because 
the arcs of my shells from long range were enough to pass that island and so I started to hit her. Here was important to make good hits because the Montana was dealing some good damage on my teammates and I didn't want to lose her because we were in disadvantage on ships and so I totally take advantage and cover to kill her without losing any teammates. I started to think where to go. I thought that Admiral Hipper and Cargaster could easily manage to take out the Hornet on my left side, so I decided to go in the middle. In the middle there were a Brooklyn, which was going on the other side instead. There were also a Yamato, which was maybe camping from long range, and a ho another Hornet. I tried to fire on the Hornet in my left side, but I missed, because the island couldn't allow me on fire there. The Hornet was pushing inside, so I take this chance to fire at her on long range. I hit her several times and I don't know what she was doing but she was, pushi she was pushing in the middle and this was not a very good choice for her because I was dealing some good hits on her. In fact after that she went in front of uh, a Dunkirk and she take her out. On the right side of the map there were a Brooklyn fighting versus a Dunkirk. I hope that the Dunkirk could take out the Brooklyn, but she did not, so I joined the match and helped her with killing. I tried to fire, hoping that I could kill her and while helping my teammate Dunkirk, which, is, which was low HP, but she take out uh, the Brooklyn first. On the left side, the Hornet destroy both Admiral Hipper and Cargalster, so there was a Dunkirk fire on her. I was starting to go on the last Yamato, which was the last strong ship remained, except of the Hornet, which was on the other side and I couldn't reach her. So. I started to run for the Yamato because I was the only one that could fight her because I was the only one with full HP that was enough to kill her. She started to fire on the Dunkirk and she also managed to land some good hits but she didn't manage to kill her. The other Dunkirk was fighting versus the Hornet, which was hiding behind the mountains and the islands. At the end, the Dunkirk managed to sink the Hornet, fortunately, and so I went to kill the Yamato, which was just behind an island, so I waited to fire at her. I didn't expect it that my team had a, a good success right that, also because I haven't taken a single hit until now, and I went to fire at this Yamato, so I could hope that even with exposing me, my teammates could help me, and so I decided I'd take the shot and started to go for her. 
she also take the shot and the battle was started in this 1v1 Yamato versus Yamato she mounted the Brazilian flag which this thing in particular made a very good difference in this engagement you will see why I started to show my bird side with firing all my guns and she did the same thing I started to fire repeatedly and repeatedly hoping that she was taking out she did land some good hits on me but I was landing better hits on her every shell was made contact my honor and her on me and the American flag was the only thing that made the difference in this engagement because as you can see I managed to kill her definitely with also some HP left this was a good engagement in particular a good battle that shows how powerful can be a Yamato in long range and also that in engagement 1v1 the American flag is definitely better than others so this was everything for the video ask me the next ship to use in the comment and see you on the next video bye bye